Hey guys, Kim here, and you are tuned back in to Kim E, the Diabetes NP, a place where nurse practitioners can improve or enhance their diabetes education and management skills. Today, we are going to talk about the dopamine receptor agonist. In this drug class is the drug bromocryptine. Hope I said that right. Think I did. But if you are trying to learn more about this drug, stay tuned. We're going to get into it. Now let's talk some overview. This drug class is pretty interesting. The mechanism of action is unknown. Don't know how it lowers the glucose. I looked through some different literature and it all turned up to be just unknown. But one thing that we do know is that it affects the postprandial glucose. Now, last week I went over a drug class, the alpha glucosidase inhibitors, and if you haven't seen that video of the AGIs, I'll link it up here, but I'll also link it down in the description box. That drug class and this drug class, the dopamine receptor agonists, have a few little similarities, okay? So, one of the similarities is that this drug class only lowers the A1C about 0.1 to 0.4%. So it does not really lower the A1C significantly, okay? So because of that, you're not going to really use this drug as a monotherapy. This would be better suited for an adjunct agent, okay? Something that you're going to put with another drug class, okay? Also, the ideal patient for this drug class is somebody who just mildly has an elevated blood glucose. And like I said in last week's video, how many of our patients really honestly are going to come into our practice with just a mildly elevated blood glucose? A lot of times by the time we pick it up, they probably have been diabetic for a few years, if not more. So let's talk side effects. Now this drug class has a handful of common side effects. You may see headache fatigue, dizziness, nausea or vomiting, or you may even see drowsiness with this drug class. People may have the strong urge or desire to go to sleep, so sleepiness. And really guys, that's really it for this drug class. Okay, let's talk precautions and contraindications. So precautions, something that you really want to keep in mind is that this drug class can cause hypotension or syncope, especially in the patients that are already taking medication to lower their blood pressure. So if you got somebody that's on blood pressure medications, just keep in mind that this drug class can exacerbate that hypotension. Something else that it can exacerbate are psychotic disorders. Now think about it. This drug class is the dopamine receptor agonist and some of our psych medicines fall in what class? The dopamine receptor antagonist. So you'll be having these two drug classes will work against each other. So going into our contraindications, if you have a patient that has like severe psych issues, you do not want to start this in them, okay? And um, also, of course, like with all the other drug classes, we're not going to start this in a type 1. We're not going to start this in DKA. But here's something that's really interesting that I wanted to note and if you've noticed I really haven't talked a lot about pregnancy and lactation and nursing mothers and I typically don't talk about that because a lot of times if you're going to have a woman who is pregnant she's going to be getting a lot of her care from her OB though we do need to be knowledgeable so I wanted to mention this particular contraindication because I think it's something that we do need to be mindful of a woman that is lactating should not take this medicine because it is actually going to decrease her milk supply. So you would not want this drug class in a patient that wants to nurse her child. So precautions and indications, that's all we got. Lastly, I want to give a little patient education, a pal. You want to educate your patients over when to take this medication. They need to take this medication about two hours after they wake up and they need to take it with a meal, okay? 
Also, you want to make sure that you're going over the signs and symptoms of hypotension, um, especially orthostatic hypotension, okay? So this would be your diaphoresis, your nausea, your dizziness. You want to talk to them about this so they can be compliant with this drug class. Okay, guys, that's all I got for you. This drug class didn't have a lot. Of stuff in it so this was a short video but it's definitely a drug class that I want to make sure that we are aware of and we know a little bit about because this is a drug class that can bring down the glucose even if it's just a little bit but like I mentioned in the previous video and the video cut off on me so I want to explain just a little bit more we are coming to the end of our oral medication classes and it's been a great ride we're now about to jump into insulin okay and because insulin has so much in it there's it's just so many things that we can talk about I want to know exactly what you all want to learn okay now in the description box I have linked a survey very short survey will only take you a couple of minutes to fill out and I want to know what is it that you want to learn about insulin what are your pain points what are some things that you want to get a little bit more comfortable with? So if you don't mind, please go ahead and fill out that survey in the link. It's going to be a link in the description box. And buckle in, guys, because we're going to go through a whole series. My plan is to make a series over insulin. So I really want to know what you all would like to learn, okay? Again, if you are not subscribed, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. If you also, if you want to follow me on social, I'm very active on Instagram. I'm at the Diabetes NP. And as always, I appreciate you all tuning in, taking this ride with me, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.